in problem number 55, I'd like to evaluate the limit, limit as x goes to 0 from the right, of x to the 2x. Okay, so what we're getting here is very interesting. This is uh, kind of a cool problem type. Uh, and first, let's look at the form. So if I plug in 0 here, I kind of get 0 here, uh, here for x, and then 2 times 0, of course, is 0. So I get 0 to the 0. 0 to the 0 is kind of a cool form in that 0 raised to any power is 0. And anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So what do I get? 0 or 1, or maybe neither. Uh, I think it's just kind of an interesting problem. But this is definitely an indeterminate form. It's not necessarily 0. It's not necessarily 1. It's indeterminate. Uh, we're in an interesting situation also where we have x's in the base and x's in the exponent. And when I see x's in the exponent, I think I don't want x's in the exponent. Uh, so I want to get them out of the exponent. And the way to do that is to use natural logs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up this problem a little differently. I'm going to say, let's say that this limit equals something, and I'm going to call it L. So I'm going to say that L is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of x to the 2x. Okay. So I just let the limit that I'm trying to evaluate equal L. Well, if it equals L, then I could take the natural log of both sides of this equation and uh, everything should be the same. So I'm going to take the natural log of one side of the equation and get ln of L. And I'll take the natural log of the other side of the equation and I'll get the natural log of the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of x to the 2x. So I just took the natural log of both sides of the equation. Now. Natural log is a continuous function, and limits are able to move in and outside of continuous functions. In other words, I'm able to flip this natural log and this limit sign because ln is continuous. If it wasn't a continuous function, I can't so much do that. But because I know that ln is continuous, I'm able to. So let's make that switch, and I get that ln of L is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of ln of x to the 2x. The, the whole reason I used ln in the first place is so that I'd get something like this. I've got ln of x raised to the 2x power, but by the power rule for natural logs, I can move that 2x out in front of the natural log. So let's do that. If I do, I get that ln of L, ln of L is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right, the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of 2x times ln of x. So the question is, now is this something that I can deal with? Well, let's see what its form is. This has form. If I plug in 0, 2 times 0 is 0. Uh, ln of 0 from the right is negative infinity. So this is an indeterminate form, but not one of the indeterminate forms that I'm really happy to have. This is a 0 times infinity. So I need to mess with it a little bit to get it into a form where I can actually use L'Hopital's rule. So I still have ln of L. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 2x, and I'm going to actually the 2 could come out of the limit. Maybe I'll just do that right now. I'll pull the 2 out. And then I have the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. This x, instead of leaving it on the top, let's put it on the bottom of the fraction. But if I put it on the bottom, then it's 1 over x. And on top, I still have ln of x. Now, think for a second and just make sure that you believe me here. 
that if I flip and multiply 1 over x times ln of x, then I get x ln of x, and the 2 is right here. So I haven't changed anything at all. Everything is exactly the same as it was before. But the nice thing is that now what is my form? If I plug in 0 to ln of x, I get minus infinity. And if I plug in 0 down here, I get 1 over 0, which is like infinity. So I get an infinity over infinity form, which is perfect for L'Hopital's rule. So let's go ahead and use it. So I get ln of L, still hanging around over here on the left side, is equal to 2 times, now I'm ready to take limit as x goes to 0 from the right, of the derivative of the top, well, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, over the derivative of the bottom. But the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. We can flip and multiply that, and we get that this is 2 times the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of, if I flip and multiply this thing, I get negative what? The x squared is flipped and multiplied, so I get an x squared on top and an x on bottom. So I just get minus x. Now clearly, if I plug in 0 at this point, I just get 0. So what I get is that ln of L is equal to 2 times 0, which is 0. So ln of L is 0. But I'm not trying to figure out what ln of L is. I'm trying to figure out what L is. So if the natural log of L is 0, then that would mean that e to the 0 power must be L. But e to the 0 power, we know, is 1. So L equals 1, and we're done.